A few weeks ago, I went to our South African home affairs. Um, I took somebody whose handbag was stolen a few months ago and we had to have her ID document replaced. Now, home affairs is where you would go to get your identification documents and your traveling visas and your permanent visas and your working um, residency visas and those type of things. So now the first thing you become aware of in South Africa is the amount of money we pay in taxes and the the fraud that is very evident that is going on in the government and that for the amount of tax we pay and the amount of money that the government institutions make you know there should be a, a lot of people employed in these government institutions and yet they never are you always for a minimum if you get to these places if you get there really early you'll sit in the queue for an hour if you get there anything around about nine ish you will then you know that you're going to sit in that queue for three hours so there's a, a long long queue all the way to the door uh, but there's maybe three four people in front so you're going to sit there for hours so that's the first thing you become aware of um, so now we're sitting in this queue and we start talking to the people around us and this one lady that's sitting next to me tells us the story where a few months ago her father died and she had to go to the hospital to identify the body and then what she had to do is go to home affairs and you have to then uh, submit the paperwork to be able to uh, claim that this you know you have to submit this person's death certificate and all that um, to finalize the entire process so she goes to all the way to the hospital she identifies the body and she goes to home affairs and as she approaches the front this person you know she gives her information the person looks her up on the system and says to her sorry you cannot um, you cannot submit your father's death certificate you know you cannot stand as that point because you are dead so obviously she says to this woman excuse me hello how is that possible I'm standing here in front of you and instead of this woman what she said was quite funny you know the only thing that was funny obviously about this whole story instead of this woman saying to her oh look there's a problem on the system the system is saying you're dead oh dear but instead of that, the woman just droned the information as the system. Oh, you cannot submit this information. You are, according to the system, you are dead. So, you know, this woman said to her, this is impossible. What is going on? You know, she demanded answers. And the woman even printed out a piece of paper as proof to say, look here, you are dead. You know, taking no action, taking no responsibility within the point to actually assist this woman just mumbling repeatedly sorry you cannot stand at this point you cannot submit your father's death certificate because you are dead so you know obviously this woman is just wanting to earn her salary so she doesn't actually give a hoot and she's just you know going through the motions so then eventually this lady says that she had to go leave leave this place go home all the way home get her younger sister, take the younger sister to the hospital, have the poor younger sister now identify the father's body, um, then drag her all the way back to home affairs. You can imagine the queue again that they had to sit in and have the sister stand as that point of being a living relative that could now submit the father's death certificate. So then this lady basically said to home affairs, what are you going to do about this problem? And they said, look, um, if we investigate it it'll take months maybe even years because and we don't have the time and they gave her this long pathetic story um and then this lady on her own went home and she hired a investigator who then was able to to basically get in contact with officials at this home affairs place and it came out through certain sources that it's what happens is which you know obviously we're we're aware of the problem is that there are people who come into the country and they bribe these people working at home affairs and all they do is they'll take somebody's identification and they'll give it to that person so this corruption is happening in the actual you know at home affairs 
So now she said that this private investigator is busy tracking down, because you see now a doctor has to sign her. When she died, a death certificate had to be submitted to Home Affairs for her to be dead. So a doctor had to sign her death certificate. So that was the latest step that they were busy investigating is which doctor had signed the certificate. So then she says, okay, well, you know, that's what happened to her, but a similar thing happened to her friend a few months before that where the friend arrives there um, and she wants to have her ID document changed and they say to her sorry you are not the person on this piece of paper you are another name and she says how is that possible and they say to her well you're married and what basically happens there again these foreigners that want to come to the country bribe these officials and they get they marry you on paper to this person um, which is now a problem because, you know, obviously now you are known by another surname, um, which you can imagine the implications. You're not who you are anymore. You're, you are now another name. And the same with this lady that was declared dead. She said she was then fired from her job because when she got back to her job that end of that month, they couldn't pay the money into her bank account because they said to her, sorry, your bank account's been frozen. And for their records, um, according to the law, they have to pay the person's bank uh, money into a bank account. So they had to fire her. They said, sorry, well, you cannot be employed with this company anymore. She was fired. Her bank account was frozen. She had no more money. So you can imagine the kind of drama that this woman has been through. And that is, of course, the fraud and corruption that is being allowed you know, in the government. And, of course... The people who could do something about it, the people who are at the top, are not doing anything about it. They they have the power to investigate these kind of things. 